Hi everyone, my name is My Punches. Um, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, My Punches Music. If you're a new new subscriber, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, but if you are new or haven't yet subscribed, uh, please subscribe to the post notification so you never miss a brand new video. Um, so I just want to get straight into today's video. So um, I was inspired by um, a fellow YouTuber called Finn to do a video about this. So I am autistic um, and I've talked, this is not like, this is not like the first time I'm talking about this. I have talked about this on podcasts, with my music, with, um, on my actual YouTube channel before. I've done a series, I've got a song about it, I've done so many things. But I wanted to do, like, I want, like, he, I watched some of his, like, I am autistic, you know, I thought it was really good. And obviously I have talked about so many different things, but I wanted to put it on one, because obviously like, I filmed an autistic story, my autism story a few years ago, and put that on YouTube. And obviously a lot of things have changed since then, and there's certain things that I talk about on certain podcasts, or things when I'm interviewed, or through music, that I've not, I don't have like, I, like, so you know, it's all like, people know certain bits, but they may not know the full story. So, let's get into it for this video. So, I was diagnosed with autism um, in around April 2012, but it was like 2012, um, with a type of autism called Asperger's Syndrome. Um, and this was after, and I'm very honest about this, I don't want any of the sympathy, I really appreciate the sympathy, but, um, so in June 2011, my dad unfortunately passed, unfortunately passed away. Um, and I was obviously, you know, crying a lot, tantrums, blah, 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 you know, I was going to try to obviously with grieving my, you know, dad. But, um, my mum and one of my aunts and some family thought there might be something a bit more, there's something a bit more. So, I was, um, eventually got an appointment with my pediatrician, which is like a kid's doctor, if you don't know what that is. And um, I had for younger familiar muscle tone, which is basically like weak muscles, which I still don't know. Um, but she diagnosed me with um in my own in two thousand twelve, so I was around seven. Um she diagnosed me with Asperger's syndrome. So you know, autism so I'm on the spectrum. Um and that is basically, you know. <laughs> And I've now had autism for about 10 years now, officially diagnosed. Um, so, you know, it's been a very long journey, but I'm not like, oh, that be bad. So yeah, as I said, um, it was obviously after, you know, my dad and I was crying a lot, I was like, Bleh. Um, So this is something I've never done before. Like when I've talked about like, oh, with my diagnosis, like, I'm going to show you a picture of my dad because I never really like, so this is my, I don't know if you can see this very well, but this is my dad on his mum's wedding day. Um, his name is Colin. Um, I have done a video about, you know, um, how last year it would have been his 65th birthday and etc. So, yeah, but that is a picture of him. So obviously, you know, um, the you know, the grieving and etc. may have triggered like getting my or, or like my autism a bit more. But I could have had I believe that I had autism from a very young age. Uh, because of, there's a lot of people with autism that cannot speak till they may be three, four or even older. And from what I know from mum and my family, I could obviously because I can't really remember like my very early age, but um most people don't anyway, but I couldn't walk or talk properly until I was about three or four. I know it's partly to do with my other muscle tone, but also most likely autism as well, because it turns out I found off someone that a uh, low muscle tone can be linked to autism. Um, so basically, low muscle tone is where I have weak muscles in my body, like, so I can't do certain things. But with my Asperger's syndrome, it could have been linked to it. So I feel like I must have had autism because I'm a very young age, but maybe it wasn't properly triggered or like seen until I was, you know, seven or eight. Um, so it does kind of make sense to me now that I probably did have it from a very younger age. Um, so, 
even before, obviously seven's still quite young, but you know, even before that. Um, so, yeah, that's that part of it. So, anyway, let's take to school. So I went to a primary school called Corpus Christi Primary School. Um, I still go to the church that's near there um, every so often. I love to see people. Um, I'm still alive, I've still got a best friend from there. <laughs> I'm still best friends with her today, I went to the same height, secondary school, the same college with, so I'm still best friends with her. I uh, called Catherine or so, but you know. Um, not to get off, too off topic, but yeah. Um, but I, yeah, so in primary school, so obviously I was still in primary school when I was diagnosed, and you know, they were supportive um, of primary school. Uh, especially with my dad and everything, um, and I would love to say a big thanks to them. But it really got more, I think, in my autism and things in secondary. But in primary, like at first, I we didn't obviously know a lot about it. Like you know, like most parents and tip child don't want to sort of some of you know some of dad has autism, and it was really oh god, sorry, <laughs> I'm not like putting this one under. It was like really scary at first, and I was like crying a lot. Why, why do I have a spook? Why do I have this? But you know, it was very sorry, my feet in front of my dog dark. But it was very, you know, it was just I don't know what this is, but you know, I've had it for 10 years now, and I've learned so much from other people, and I've been able to raise awareness, and I've talked about it a lot, and I've obviously learned about other people that they been to. So, you know. I've been able to um, just learn more, talk about more, feel more confident with it, and um, yeah. So um, anyway, off to the secondary school. Um, so I went to a secondary school called Newman Rapids, which is not actually called. It's meant to be a sixth form, but they never be in a sixth form in a secondary school. It's just secondary school. But um, so yeah. And by the way, guys, I'm from England. By the way, if you can't tell. Uh, for anyone who might be watching this is not from the UK. Um, but yes, so I went to that school and they were really supportive. I did get bullied a lot, I will be honest, in primary and secondary, but you know, I mean I'm not saying it to you but you know, it there was a lot of times where I was bullied, I was sexually harassed in school by other students. And I think I was a bit of an easy target because I was like you know, trying to make myself no, like not in a bad way, in a good way, like I suppose in assemblies I did all these different things. Um, but <laughs> I'm trying to make myself back like so I but not so it was positive, but I'll sort of come back later to I've got a lot of lovely memories from that, you know, time. But, you know <laughs> also not bad ones, so you know. It was just what it was. And then I'm now currently a second year um, level three performing arts student at um, Oakley College. Um, and I absolutely love um, the course, but also the people, like the tutors and the other students, because you know, I've made so many wonderful friends. Not, but also not just in sports, but also in other people from other courses that I've got to know as well. And you know what, I absolutely love a lot of it. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, oh, I've got to drag them out, but you know what, I love a lot of it. And they're always so supportive of me while I'm doing, not just with autism, but, um, you know, and I really appreciate them for everything, you know, that they support me with. And I fell in love with performing arts. Um, so I did drama in year seven, eight, nine, perhaps second school. And then I did music for all five years of secondary. Um, but in about, I think it was June or July 2019, I was in Morrison's one day and I saw this advertisement for a performing arts school that was on a Saturday. Um, and I thought, you know what, I really want to do that. So I got myself, I got signed up. Um, and I've been, I was with them for, um, a year and a half, yeah, pretty much like a year and a half. Then I left and then I came back for about um, an extra 
left for six months, but it ended up being like, like ten, yeah, ten months I'd say. Um, just because I went to a different showcase, but we got to stand until this year. Um, so I anyway, uh, that was twelve plus at performing arts school. Um, but that's how I fell in love with performing arts. Like you know, I've always been into singing, but um, that's how I really got into my you know <laughs> music and it, well you know my arts and everything. Um, performing arts has really helped me with my confidence. Really got to make friends, uh, not feeling as like socially withdrawn sometimes. Um, and you know, people are like, I want to talk to you about it. It's just so nice, and I love all of them to this. I know that, you know, like, some of us is something we look after our own, as they say. And I've been able to do so many amazing shows that I'll, my, and you know, I've still got so many amazing shows to do with them. I know that. Because <laughs> um, even though I said, you know, we have obviously got an upcoming show to do in summer, and also I'm doing an extra year there, so I'm sure that they're planning more good show. <laughs> oh my god, what <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, oh god. Um, but, you know, and everyone is there, so I can meet a lot of people and also have autism, OCD, I've got one of the students in wheelchair, I don't know the two teachers have one of the, other, uh, one of the two who have dyslexia. Um, and, you know, they're just so lovely. And they're, um, just, aren't they? I don't know. <laughs> I wouldn't change the door so fix for the world, I would love it, I would, yeah, I love other people. <laughs> oh, I don't know what it was. Uh, but yeah, um, and you know, there are also been lots of ups and downs, but you know, it's like this, but not as much as in secondary school or anything like that, I really love it. You know, there's been drama, there's been things that have happened, but you know what? I still know that about amazing people from the college that I'll probably be lifelong friends from performing arts and other people in college. And, you know, I know I'll always be a part of that. Yeah. Even when I leave next year. It'll always be part of me and all. It won't be able to get rid of me. <laughs> so funny. Um, so. Now on to um, friendships. So. A lot of you know people with um autism or say social anxiety or certain things like that, it is hard to you know talk to people sometimes or make friends. Like especially when I was in um, I mean I've still like in certain school I had still have a lot of good friends, but. deal with crowds and you can't, you know, um, deal with like so many people like for example I think I went to the Prime Mark in Manchester last year and there was that many people I was just like no I need to leave right now. <laughs> I'm not I'm just like I just needed to just go. Um and you know so yeah. But it's just one of those things. And you know what, I've still, like I said, I've got so many of those friends now. Sometimes certain things come out is that I'm not making excuses, but say if I message people too much, like I've sometimes ended friendships, or you know, or if I take something the wrong way, um, you know, because I'm still sometimes struggle with some understanding because I've heard them all, you know, I do it for other stuff. I just, that's that. <laughs> um, I do actually wear black eyes, but I'm waiting for some new ones because my other one broke. Oh, but anyway, getting them next week, but anyway. Um, but you know what, speaking of glasses, uh, you know, I feel like my style, uh, like, you know, like, I'm still like, still, oh, sorry, silver chain. I want to know, I this like bracelet. And you know, I've got blonde hair, like, I've got blonde hair, like, and I was like, really like, blonde, like, blonde when I was younger. I feel like my, like, I found my style and I'm very comfortable in what, you know, so I wear jewellery now and I start wearing, I start wearing jewellery in, like, 
I think I started wearing jewelry like that in December last year. Um, and then I got my, my pair of jumpers out as well. It, like that to how it kind of was when I was younger and I feel like very comfortable a lot more now for my fashion sense and you know my fashion style so I feel a lot more confident and that you know it helps me feel a lot more comfortable with my autism and you know wearing glasses helps me feel more comfortable you know it's just because it's a part of me like awesome part of me like it's the kind of how I am but it's like this is me if you don't like it so that that's what I'm saying on that um So, next thing. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Um, is this, obviously, month is April is Autism Awareness Month. Autism Awareness Day is on April 20th. Sorry, April 2nd. <laughs> April 2nd. Um, and that was last, last week as well. You know, this week, but the whole of April is Autism Awareness Month. And I've done, you know, I've done series. I've done a... Uh, uh, I've done so many things to talk about. I've been on about this month. I've been on about three different podcasts. Uh, some that was pre-recorded like the month before, but you know, to talk about autism and to talk about my disabilities because I really wanted to, like, you know, talk about it and talk about the music and talk about so many different things. And I really don't think, obviously, no, it's not just in April that you should talk about autism, but especially. In April, because that is when people are really going to be like, ooh, I want to come more because it's being awesome when this month. But you know, talk about autism is all, you know, like that, and that's not just because it's awesome when this week or day or month. Yeah. Um, now, for those of you who don't know, I am a singer, songwriter, finally. Um, not, you know, I'm not professional, but I have released several songs out of NEP and so many other things, and song covers, and da da da. And one of the things I did this year, I have released a song called um, Awesome Autism, which is telling a bit about my story with autism through my music. And, um, you know, reminding people that if you have autism or you know someone with autism, that, you know what, they and you are awesome. And, you know what, why not? Um, which is, you know what, my singing has really helped me with my confidence with my autism, but I'm also. Autism has also helped me, you know, uh, music helps me with my autism, but also my autism helps me with music just like I came up some. But in general, like listening to music helps, really helps me with my autism. Like if I ever feel stressed, I'll just listen to some music, you know, cheer myself up, sort of dance, or just sing, whatever. Um, and you know, recording a song that are oh, one of my favourite things to do when I go to the recording studio. Like, one of my favourite places to go is the recording studio and just record cover a song or something like that, like performance or whatever I'm doing there, but I just absolutely love it. So, you know, yeah. Um, so yeah, so as I was, so obviously, as I was, obviously I'm doing this, you know, as I'm filming this video as well, I'm a YouTuber as well, and um, I did a series last year called Awesome Autism, so that's kind of where the term was made for the song, but I did a five part series last year uh, where I talked about the different parts of being my autism journey and being autistic. And that was also put on someone else's YouTube channel from Canada so like more people could see it. Um, and I also had a awesome podcast um, called Awesome Awesome Podcast. So you see, it's like, it feels like it's my thing, it's like awesome awesome everything. Um, but you know, it's so good, you know. So it's kind of my thing, you know. I should make it my own trademark, but, <laughs> um, but you know, yeah. So then, um, you know, being an autistic YouTuber is the toughest one because, you know, people go, oh my God, you don't look at the camera, or when I'm doing interviews, you don't look at the camera enough. You may have noticed I don't always look at the camera. I am trying to help, but that is a part of being autistic, which I don't think some people always, Understand that like, I don't even realize I'm doing it sometimes when I'm talking because I just talk, 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 you know. Um, so that is something that I think more people need to understand. Like, I'm not intentionally just out, like, I'm not ignoring you or anything. I'm just like, I am talking, I am focused. I'm just, you know, uh, sorry, oh no, <laughs> no, but anyway, um, but yeah, and like I said, I've been on several podcasts recently. 
talk about it and you know um my autism and stuff and i will continue to do that and i will be on i will do so many different things you know whatever i can do like um Early, well, sorry, later last year I did um, some presentations for the Performing Arts students and I did one a few weeks or so ago for technical first years about my disabilities and in uh, a few years ago I did a few at some primary schools um, and the kids really seemed to enjoy it uh, when I would talk about my disability so I came and did a few talks with them um, and you know and I'm forever learning about other people's experiences with autism and I really appreciate um, you know, when I don't know, I don't, all right, I just like to learn about someone else's experience. Um, so, yeah, and thank you to Finn, I'm sorry, I can't remember his name, but uh, he is an autist YouTuber and he literally does a lot of videos about my differences with autism and he keeps me going, you know what, I'm really inspiring to do a video about this. Uh, so here's it. So he's video will be down below. Definitely, if you want to give him a shout out and a thank you, um, and thank you for watching, guys. I really hope this is like you know, hope this is learning a bit more about me, but also about autism. And yes, so I will see you in my next um, video. <laughs> um, and happy Autism Awareness Month. Yeah, bye guys.